Hey, in two weeks, just two weeks time, you're gonna be tucking into your Christmas dinner, the festive turkey, the festive ham. And the next day, you're probably gonna be thinking, shit, I'm so stuffed, what am I gonna do now? Well, here I wanna share with you how to save your ass from the festive growth without having to cut back on festive tipple and everything like this. You see, this time of year, fitness gets pushed to the side. In fact, the biggest things that people that slide at this time of the year, apart from self-respecting themselves, are their relationships, their tidiness, and their finances. But the biggest thing overall that people that slide at this time of year is their health, believe it or not. And when it comes to health, I mean, people skimp on their sleep, they cut back on their nutrition, and they cut back on their fitness. Because in the world that we live in, as entrepreneurs, as successful business people, men and women want to have this all or nothing mentality. Because you can't get all of your training in, because you can't get 100% on your nutrition, you're gonna say, I'm gonna push it to after Christmas, to after the new year, when I can go all in and be 100%. Unfortunately, what happens there, as you'll have heard me discuss in previous videos, is that instead of having five or six pounds to lose, you end up putting on eight, nine pounds over the Christmas season, and the holidays just kick in, and you end up having 14, 15, 16 pounds to lose. And it's not water, it is fat. It jiggles when you move and you do not want to have to cut into your resolutions that you made last year, and you're no doubt going to make again this year to lose the jiggly bits. You want to be jingling all the way, not jiggling all the way. So what can you do? You've got this all or nothing mentality, but you know that you need to have some sort of focus in the back of your mind to get your nutrition on point. Well, we have that, oh, Ollie, yeah, yeah, whatever, I prepare in bulk. Okay, most of your Christmas events, your Christmas parties, your social gatherings are going to be things that you know are coming up. So just be an adult and cut back a little bit during the week. What options are quick and on the go? If you have got to get those last minute gifts or you're out on Christmas Eve and you haven't even got your Christmas cards sorted and you can't get to a healthy place, what options are on the go? There are so many fast food joints, so many takeaway places that you can actually get healthy things from. Even a kebab store, you can get chicken kebab with no sauce on it, plenty of salad and chuck it in a pit of bread. What is the best alcohol? Well, people think, I can't drink because I'm trying to be healthy. End up being very unhealthy and becoming socially awkward because they don't go out, they don't enjoy themselves. Believe me, I have been there. When it comes to this time of year, I skipped so many social events when I was competing in bodybuilding because I thought I couldn't have alcohol. When in reality, it's not gonna do nothing to you in the long run by having a few drinks. And if you looked at my video last week, it could actually boost your testosterone levels, which could boost your fat loss if you have the right drinks. So get back onto that video and have a look through the timeline because you can have a drink during the festive season, during the holiday season, trust me. You can enjoy a tipple or two, maybe not a tipple or 22. Just bear that in mind. What else can you do? Well, if you are having your Christmas dinner, your big roast dinner, then great. Load up on the veggies, load up on the protein. Enjoy yourself, it's one day. Come on, just live a little. If you are prepared beforehand, prepared afterwards, you can live a little. It's when you cut back for two, three weeks and you think, I'm gonna just hit it in January, in the new year as a resolution when you've then put on too much because you know you're gonna to have to stop then, so you chuck everything in beforehand. When you do have a buffet, load up on protein, load up on the salads and things like that, then get your hydration in, then have some dessert. When you already full up plenty and you're not gonna overeat. If you're full, listen to your belly and don't keep eating because it's not a brainy thing to do. And fitness, fitness. 
What do we do with fitness? Well, there is no need to go to the gym at this time of year. If you are that busy, you can't get to the gym, then cool. You do not need to have one hour or two hour workouts. Don't cut back on everything. Just do a quick high intensity training circuit at home in your living room with your body weight. Do some press ups, some burpees, some mountain climbers, do some squats, loads of different body weight exercises. Get your heart rate up and you will burn some calories on recovery and really, really get in a sweat on. What's good about that? It means you can eat more in the evening when you go to your family party, when you go to your work's Christmas party, you can enjoy it a lot more, a hell of a lot more. If you're doing an office job or you're just working in the office like I'm doing right now, doing some client plans, just getting up, doing some squats like every hour on the hour, doing some pulse raises, things like this, really get your energy going. Not only is it great for productivity, it's going to be great to burn calories as well. But don't cut everything out. If you're thinking of starting in four weeks time, why the hell can't you start tomorrow? Why the hell can't you start today? One session is better than no sessions. Two sessions, better than three sessions. Is it? Find what works for you at this time of year. Don't just cut everything out. Sometimes people get overwhelmed and they think, oh, I'm just gonna wait until after Christmas. Trust me, pushing this to the back of your mind and pushing your health, pushing yourself out of the window, so to speak, is not the thing to do. Respect yourself and you'll be able to respect a lot more people around you. Trust me.